Hey everyone, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Tech, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the RTX 3050 that NVIDIA released. Now, a lot of people were very happy to have this GPU come out because it was bad for mining and great for gamers. But we're going to go over the data and share some of the insight from some of our fellow content creators. That's actually how I got this data, but I put it nice and neat in a little Reddit post just for you that I'll have linked down in the description if you want to check it out. So, Dizzy Mining was one of the first to come out. Uh, Son of a Tech came out with some information, which we're going to go over. Chump change, additionally, Red Fox, uh, Crypto. I'm not going to go every single creator, but I'm just going to put everything nice and neat in this Reddit post for you. Ethereum performance, about 14.28 megahertz or thereabouts. Uh, Software-wise, was only seen like 50, maybe 45 watts. But then, of course, at the wall, it's probably like 60. So it's on par with what we've seen with some of the other GPUs in the 3000 series. Now, Dizzy Mining was only able to successfully get the memory overclock up to plus 750 when you go up to a thousand it would kind of diminish returns or show diminishing returns but uh son of a tech was able to get up to plus 5 1500 and chump change got the zotac card so each card is performing differently it depends on the silicon lottery but roughly the results or hash rates could be pretty much the same but 14.28 mega hash this card is lhr lock it's not very profitable and the efficiency is really down so you really just need to take this data and just make a decision for yourself now if you needed a gaming gpu and you wanted to mine with it this is probably a good card for that entry level position but if you were going to think about building a rig with these i probably wouldn't do that moving on we got kapow uh, i believe some people saw ravencoin get 14 mega hash uh, while dizzy showed 13.82 mega hash with a mild core clock of around 1800 megahertz plus 750 on, 750 on the mem and I didn't get a power reading from that, but uh, it looks like 90 watts is what Son of a Tech was showing uh, on Auto Lycos uh, with Ergo. Basically, uh, Dizzy started off with 61.45, but then of course LHR locks kicked in and that dropped it down. Now Son of a Tech was able to show a sustained mega hash or hash rate of 35.5 at around 90 watts. And then moving on to uh, well, this is the second graph right here. So 34.25 for Auto Lyco, so Ergo. Uh, he had 1460 megahertz on the core, 8300 megahertz mem. Now that 8300 megahertz is going to help out Hive OS users who don't do like a plus 100, plus 200, plus 400 on MSI Afterburner. So 83 me megahertz. You really got to fine tune your GPU because again, Dizzy Mining GPU can't hit as high as Son of a Tech. And one might be EVJ, one might be Gigabyte, and one might be Zotac. So just fine tune maybe 8,000 megahertz for your memory overclock and see where your GPU likes to sit. Then we have Octopus or Conflux, 26.2 mega hash is what I've seen pretty much across the board or around 26 mega hash. Uh, 1800 megahertz core plus 750 on the mem, uh, 110 watts provided by Son of a Tech. Then we have Zell hash, 22.4 mega hash. Uh, with a higher core clock, you know, 2000 megahertz plus 750 on the mem. Son of a Tech showed 140 watts, but I think Son of a Tech again was doing like plus a thousand, a thousand plus on the mem, and then the core clock was maybe like plus 100, plus 200. I'm not sure. You could check out their video. I'll have it linked down in the description. Uh, and then we have Tuncoin, which seems to be the better one because Flux and the other algos, because it, it's drawing so much power and not getting that much hash rate. Is not really that efficient. There's there is a few coins that are a saving grace. We'll get to in a moment. Uh, but ton coin on dizzy mining, we got 1.24 giga hash uh, and no power reading, but basically the same 1800 megahertz plus 750 on the mem. But son of a tech got 1.4 giga hash, and that was uh, 1800 megahertz core, 8300 megahertz mem, 140 watts again. Feral pal, uh, which is very similar to Kapow, 12.4 mega hash. 110 watts, so nothing new there. Kryptonite GPU though was probably the better one. And so it's in, it's in between Kryptonite GPU and Tuncoin as being the most profitable products to mine. Uh, but of course, Tuncoin I, I don't believe is yet shown on whattomine.com. But it got 1550 hashes with just throwing some memory at it, no, leaving the core alone, 90 watts. And then again, at the very bottom of this article, I have, uh, you know, Brandon Coins thoughts, Chump Changes data, Son of a Text data, and then all of Dizzy Mining's videos. Make sure you check them out, show them some love. Uh, but they go through, and Dizzy Mining was one of the first to provide this data or content to the community. 
Then Son of a Tech uh, did his video, Trump changed his video, and even Red Fox Crypto came out with a video today. But Brandon Coin says, RTX 3050, horrible for mining. And I would agree. I had an opportunity to buy this card through the EVJ Notify queue, and unfortunately, it's not profitable for me to get it. Uh, maybe if I needed a card for my, my son's system, I would do it but I really don't see any benefit. However, there is a benefit out there because uh, when we look at, we'll go over profitability here in a minute. When we look at the gaming benchmarks, it is better than the RX 6500 XT. So as far as the entry level GPU market, if you can't get a 1050 Ti or uh, you don't have a 1070 or anything like that, then the 3050 is basically a 1070 for modern. So there's no reason to upgrade, but if you need a GPU for your system, uh, you know, Gamers Nexus, Hardware Unbox, all our favorite tech tubers did some great content out there uh, as far as the gaming performance of this GPU. Now, profitability, uh, we could see here at time of filming for Son of a Tech, it looks like Ryo was the only one that, you know, you can make a dollar a day at 10 cent per kilowatt hour. You're going to be making 85 cents. Uh, so, Kryptonite GPU algo seemed to be the most profitable on this card. Uh, sitting close to you know 70 to a 70 70 cents to a dollar a day conflux or octopus you barely break or get near 50 cents a day um, and then the next one down if you're not mining octopus on nice hash is raven coin and that's only getting 30 cents a day at 10 cent per kilowatt hour so you can see all the information here flux is drawing a lot of power and not producing much hash so of course that's down quite a bit Ethereum down very far because of the LHR locks. The only things that benefit uh, from not being locked out by LHR is going to be Kryptonite GPU, Octopus, uh, Kapow, and Feropow, even Zell Hash. But because the hash rate's so low, it's not really doing any good. So, is this a card you should get? Well, me personally, what I would say to you is no. Um, but again, it really depends on your situation, right? You don't have a GPU, you built this nice system, but you just need that GPU to finish it off. A 3050 would be something that one could consider, especially if you're a gamer at home and you just want to mine on the side, right? Because even though the profits are down right now, because the current market conditions have dropped, the profits may go up. And then this card might be making an average of $1.15 a day, $1.25, $1.30, $1.50. Then it becomes more attractive to people. But as of right now with the market condition, dropping GPU pricing, you're might as well. you better off getting an older generation card than getting this new 3050. But that's going to be up to you to make a decision. So I'm going to leave all the links to the data like on Reddit and our fellow colleagues in the crypto mining space, Son of a Tech, Trump Change, uh, Red Fox Crypto, Dizzy Mining, down in the description if you want to check them out and that's going to do it for me today please do me a favor on the way out hit the like button don't forget to get subscribed hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out the links in the description besides our fellow content creators and to data on the 3050 but also affiliate links that help support the channel and what we do here and i thank you so much for stopping by you take care i'll catch you next one